Mastered Ultra Instinct and Dragon Ball Fighter Season 3. Okay, so we have it officially confirmed for season three of Dragon Ball Fighters Ultra Instinct Goku Mastered. Now, everyone thought that we were going to get Ultra Instinct Omen and then maybe he would be a transformation, you know, the Mastered variant. And to be honest, I'm not really hyped for this character. And I'm only saying this because I know that this is going to be a half done character. And let me explain. Obviously, they can't do what they did in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 and give him the whole auto dodging feature because Dragon Ball Fighters tries to be a balanced fighting game. So, with that being in mind, they can't have the auto dodging. So, that's the whole point of Ultra Instinct Goku at all is that he can dodge and he has precise timing attacks. Now, maybe the precise timed attacks will be a factor in this character I mean and, and let me explain this it's like characters that have different you know qualities or features about them they work in Dragon Ball Fighters for more, you know different reasons like auto dodging would be completely busted but that's the whole perk of Ultra Instinct Goku now there's other characters that have other features like for example Broly you know, both versions, he's sort of like a super armored up berserker tank. So that means he can eat hits without flinching and get in and do damage. And they can reflect that in the game with certain moves that he'll use where he won't flinch. He'll have super armor, hyper armor, or whatever, and he'll get in on the opponent. But with Ultra Instinct Goku, I don't see them being able to do the same. Not with auto dodging. Now, I mean, they could just give him some beautifully animated attacks. Like maybe they could have the little air bullet punches from Xenoverse and uh, a version of the Kamehameha and they probably, I won't doubt them, they will probably give him that little sliding, I don't know, I don't think they could, I don't think that they can do that actually because in order for him to do the sliding Kamehameha, it would have to be an attack launched at him and him sliding. So, I mean, I just don't know with this character. There's a lot of, I feel like it's gonna be a lot of head cannon from the developers with this character. Like, they're gonna give him probably the godly display maneuver from Xenoverse 2, the air bullet punches from Xenoverse 2, and he won't have his auto dodging, but maybe he will still be somewhat of a glass cannon. I don't know, but that's my assessment of the character, just getting an initial look at him and just knowing how they balance their games. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Of course, I've been your perfect being, Alpha, Omega, but never Beta, Perfection Sama. Hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, follow me on all these platforms down below, Twitch, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.